Hello, VOD people. We're continuing the work on the app for running encounters with the aerial combat rules from the third issue of Arcadia, a D&D magazine published by MCDM. Wow, that's quite a mouthful of <laughs> intro. But anyway, here we are at the end of the intro. So what we got working last time, which is at the time of recording, just a couple hours ago, I had to take a break uh, all of a sudden, it was drag and drop. So now drag and drop works. We can just pick someone up and drop them in a different layer, which is cool. So the intent here is to make it possible to play um, D&D with the aerial combat rules using this as a board so it won't automate anything. So imagine just like a physical board game board where nothing is automated. You have to move all the pieces yourself. You have to do all the calculations yourself. This is just a digital version of that. And my thought is to get that out of the door. And the next step would be to automate stuff over time when I come back to this project, right? So my first goal will be just to make it work. So at the moment, if you are if you have the magazine, you can read the rules, you can load this up in theory, it's not published anywhere yet. Uh, but you could load up this and you could say, well, here, this, this character moves into this, um, this uh, altitude or whatever. So that's, that's the goal, right? So the next thing is we can drain drop, but we can't move into altitude seven because it collapsed. So the next thing we want to do is uh, be able to drop that into uh, altitude seven. And I'm a bit uncertain how to do this, but I think the first thing we should just do is make it easy to drop it in there and then kind of worry about the UX later. So at the moment, to, to collapse layers like that, we just do a check if the layer um, is above seven, which is considered seven and above is considered high altitude. So you don't, it's kind of a risk war thing moving up there. So if you're, if you're at seven or above and it's not empty, render it. That rather, if it's below seven and there and there are players, uh, or there are players in the layer, render it. If not, just show a uh, horizontal rule. And we want to change this toggle to be inside of the altitude layer component. I think. So if we move in here, we are rendering all the players. Uh, here. So the question becomes, should we just collapse it like we do here? Or should we maybe enable? Hmm. So my first thought was, whenever you start dragging something, just expand everything, which will make everything jump, I think, which isn't ideal per se, but it might work. Another solution would be to expand them as you hover over them. But then again, you might get some weird jumping. Hmm. But that might be actually be a preferable solution. Let's just, let's try that first. Okay. So, uh, first things first, uh, let's do Let's move this if statement in here. Uh, I think actually we're actually gonna include it inside of the layer thing. I think that's gonna be to our advantage. Let's copy this over too. Uh, we'll just add that below here. Well, now, hmm, interesting. This section right here, the layer token container, is what makes the drag and drop thing work at all. So that has to be included somehow. Hmm. But 
we're not going to include this header if the layer is not populated, I don't think. No, let's try without it first. Okay, let's let's think about this for a little while. Well, actually, it's quite easy. If we if we add a if we close the if here, then we add another one, but inside of this section like this, then we move these two up here, which will hide. I think this should be correct. Okay, that's an interesting move. <laughs> right, so they look to be empty. They are just as big. Hmm, right. Not really sure why the horizontal rules are not being rendered. Let's have a look. It's two by two. Oh, right, because this is uh, this is displaying flex, right? But do we need like to, to show it differently? Do we need uh, like a width of 100%? Does that work? Okay, yeah, that works. Um, Let's lower that to 80. Oh, no, 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 90. Sure, that works. You know what, let's just leave it at 100. <laughs> that works. So they are more compact than, than the other ones because we are setting the min height to be 40. Yeah, that works. Okay, that is quite good. So if I hover over this, ooh, it actually works by accident. <laughs> this is quite cool. Okay, yeah, this works. So, yeah. Urgh. This actually works better than I actually imagined it would. would. Wow, okay. Yeah, this kind of works. It's a bit of a weird... Uh, thing when you move between them, you might move too far and have to go back and kind of it might be kind of finicky. But it's not too too bad, I think. It's it's worse when you move downwards. Yeah, because it, it moves more. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just surprised that worked that well uh, in the first outing. Uh, okay, uh, so we're able to move into collapsed layers. That was surprisingly easy. So I'm just going to commit this off screen. Uh, add support. Um, enable moving. Ah, come on. Tokens into collapsed layers okay so that was easier than than expected uh, to get that working at all so the next thing I'm kind of thinking that it should be a proper way to add actors actually I think. I think that might, might be a good next step. Um, yeah. Okay, let's let's try to do that. So the first question, of course, becomes, does Picnic CSS have any modal stuff for us to use, documentation? Modal, it actually has a suggestion. Ooh, let's uh, show modal. Yeah, this is pure CSS, which is crazy town. We're not gonna do that. That's too next level. 
<laughs> I'm re I, it's really cool that it's possible, but no, 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 no. We're not going to be doing, any, doing that. We're going to use CSS, uh, JavaScript. As always, there is no JavaScript CSS. Yeah. So if you just make a model like this, everything should work or find the it claims. I'm wondering if I should just make it like a modal component or if I'm just going to make a component that's this specific modal and don't reuse anything. I'm just going to make it a... Let's do this simple thing now. So we're just going to copy this because that's what we do as programmers. We just copy stuff all the time. Uh, Still so component, add actor modal. I, I'm going to have to reorganize this at some point, but uh, that's not today. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. So let's do script. Lang is going to be TS, like so. Let's paste this in. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so, we've got this couple of inputs. Um. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to need these. Nor these. Yeah, so this is going to be a text thing where the key is uh, do, 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 add actor um, header, title, title, I think. Uh, does it need to have class content? Maybe. I think it does. Let's just leave it like that. This is going to where we're going to have <clears throat> the main content, and then we're going to have a footer. And I think we're just going to have like a, we're going to have a button. And this is going to have a text component, which have the, which have a key, which is add actor, add actor, like so. Then we're going to move over to strings. Add actor. Uh, add actor, which is one of the strings that we settled on. Add actor, like so. Then we're going to do. do, do. I'm just going to keep these alphabetical, actually. Just make it a bit simpler. Uh, title, that's the one. Add actor. Wow, this is just a lot of repetition. Uh, let's see, what are you complaining about? Oh, there we go. <laughs> wow, yeah, let's see what the compiler is saying. Okay, the compiler is fine, you don't, you don't see it, but. I assure you it is. Uh, yeah, so we want to add this. Where do we want to add this? We actually want to add this to the layout. So if we go into this layout file, this is where the nav is. The add actor thing is over here. And we actually want to add, I think, the modal to this too. Yeah. I think so. It is a bit weird showing uh, having the model added like this, but I think this is the easiest solution for now. 
then we're going to add more complicated stuff later. So we're just going to do this. Let show uh, add actor model. Let's set this to false. And inside of here, we're just going to say on click um, show add actor modal set up to true. Then in here, if show add actor model, modal, close that in, uh, add actor modal like so. Yeah. And inside of here, if we click this button on click, add actor. And then inside of the script, const add actor. Uh, and we're gonna do a, let's just grab this import from here. I'm gonna add an actor. Yeah. They're gonna need a Let's see, name, flight, modifier, one more, opening, rather just, let's just call it altitude, and initiative, yeah, that's going to, uh, that's going to, that's going to be the ID of the player controlling the token. So you can do like permissions where uh, a player can only move their own token, but we're not right quite there yet. So we'll just always <laughs> set this to an empty string for now. Or maybe it should actually be a, a mm, yeah, sure. We'll just leave it at an empty string. We're just going to ignore it and ignore it anyway. But this clearly lets us see that we need some variables to fill in flight modifier uh, uh, flight modifier let's just leave it at a zero I think yeah sure altitude let's just leave that at two which is the proper low one and initiative leave that at 10 I think that's yeah, fine middle ground these are complaining because number is not assignable yeah yeah, yeah. Um, should we just cast them down here or should we change them Let's, hmm. As flight modifier. Yeah, but we're not going to do it like that, though. We're going to do it like this. And this one is going to remove this. And we're just going to import the type. And then from up here, we're just going to remove this, like so. As altitude, and lastly as initiative. There we go. So that's how we add an actor. Should probably do a simple check here, just to check uh, the name and flight modifier and all uh, right. So name should be set right and flight modifier. Yeah, we're not gonna get going to get around. Uh, right. Yeah, we basically just need to check that the name is set. That's the only important part, actually. 
Um, so if that's not set, return. Sure. Then the next thing to check if is if uh, we have any good like form controls input. Yeah. Okay, that looks cool. Is that everything that we got? Uh, let's see. Got labels. Are those just like? Hmm. Okay, we're gonna. We're gonna... Yep, we got inputs. We got those. Okay. Not really sure that was very informative, but sure. Uh, let's see. Section, yes. We need to add some content in here. So we need... Have I made an input thing? No. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do label. I'm not going to do four thing, but we're going to do a input of type text. And we're going to, okay. right here let's see let's just do this and then we're gonna add a text thing here key is gonna be add actor name label gonna go strings name label Actually, let's change this to be form name. Hmm. Yeah, sure. So the next thing is flight modifier. Let's add that. Flight modifier. Flight mo oh. modifier. Excuse me. There we go. <clears throat> and we're actually going to make it. Um, oh, what are they called? Slide slider? No. R rain? No. Um. <laughs> Come on. They're called. Not sliders. Are they? Range. No. What are they called? Uh, let's see. HTML. Not range, but a uh, slider. Well, W3 schools. Yeah, but that, this is the one I want. Input range. Okay. Sure, that's fine. So let's do that. Um, type slight uh, range. Yeah. Uh, min. I think it's minus four. Uh, max is going to be 15, I think. Step is going to be 1. 
And let's just have a quick look. If we look in here, we can search a flight modifier. Minus four to 15, yeah, so that's right. Let's do another one of these. This one is going to be the altitude. Let's go into strings and fix that. Altitude. Altitude. And this is going to be somewhere between one and 12. You can actually start, you have to start between two and six though. That's a limitation in the rules. And the last one is going to be initiative. Initiative. Let's fix that too in here. Oh, not there. Is that right? Yeah. Look right. Initiative is going to be. I think I actually have a scale for this too. Uh, do, 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 initiative. Yeah. So from one to 35 is my limit. So plus 15 to initiative. Yeah, I think that's probably a safe bet. Range minimum of one. Do you can, can you actually get one in, in a, by an in initiative order? 35 step one. Yeah. Okay. So those are the ones that I've defined. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is not good. Can I refresh this? Nope, that doesn't work. Oh, uh, there is something wrong in here. They claim. Doesn't look like it. Uh, Now nah, look right. <laughs> now let's see. I'm getting an error in uh, with the compiler. It's not very helpful. It says ex it's expecting a closing bracket. It's most likely in here in the um, component that we're working on with the modal. Those all seem to be fine. Maybe it's in the layout thing. As we did change some stuff in there. Ah, here we go. Yeah, it doesn't like that. Oh, wow. Okay. This seems a bit outdated. Oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> uh, sure. Um, add actor. Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> Did we get an error? Apparently. Oh, it, yeah. I don't want to do that. Import not found altitude. Okay. That's marginally helpful. Word modal though. Oh. Click the wrong. Um, here we go. Nope. Uh, yep. Yeah. Modal. Here we go. I'm assuming this is where altitude. No, don't put them in there. I, I saw it do it, but I didn't react. Okay. So we're gonna do this. Then we're. Oop. That's not what we want to do. Uh, we're gonna do this. Then we're going to do this, and then it's going to work out. Yeah. Okay, moving 
Moving closer, I guess. Layout. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so if you click the thing, show the thing. Well, actually, we should probably put a, like a, um, Should we let just, yeah, you know what? We're just going to do the simple thing for now, and then we're going to add some more difficult stuff later. So let's just have a look at the documentation over here uh, for the modal. So it does do like a gradient thing in, on the background. I'm not really sure if that's included or not. Especially considering we didn't see anything at the moment. But in the layout file, if we have a look over there, it is the last thing to be added. So it should be on top of everything else. So when we click this, there should be in like the, the visual tree, something. So this is your root, Svelte Announcer. Yes, yeah, so it should be in here if it actually worked, but it does not. On click, run this. This is the same thing, if show this. Okay, so it's not working at all. That is really interesting. Looks like to me that it should do. Hmm. To me, it looks like it should do the thing, but it's not. Let's see here. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. There we go. Oh. Oh, no, no. What do I do now? Uh, let's see there. Yeah, there we go. Let's try that again. Yeah, we're clicking the thing, but it's not showing up. So we got the on click on the button. It's just modifying the right thing. Yeah, here we are. Here we are. Okay. So it's showing up now. Um, there seems to be some styling that's missing. So we're going to add that back in. Uh, this modal thing should probably, it has this article inside, so that should probably be the, the thing itself. So, uh, let's do a style here and for the modal, we're going to do a, a position that's absolute. We're going to do top zero. Bottom zero, left zero, and right zero. Uh, it should have a color. A back, uh, what, uh, yeah, background color. RGBA, I think is fine. Zero by zero by zero by like that seven or something. Um, if we click this yes this is progress believe it or not <laughs> um, so modal which has an article come on article background white there we go. Padding. Two rems. No, no, no. I want it over here. That's what I want. There we go. Um, we also want to... 
let's just do display flex and we're gonna um, flex direction is just gonna be a column we're gonna justify content to the center and on larger screens we might want to do like a uh, like a um, Don't do the whole width thing, but for smaller screens, we're just going to do that. If this is, oh, this is probably, if this is default styling of, of sliders. These are really nice, actually. But I'm not really sure if this is the picking thing or whatever. Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> okay, so I'm not really happy with how this turned out. Why Why is it showing like this? That's so weird. Um, <laughs> I'm not really sure why it's looking like that. It's weird setup. Uh, okay. Um... I think rather we're going to do like a, uh, let's see, for the, hmm. what did it do? We're going to do this. Uh, we're actually going to add back in a uh, label for uh, flight modifier input. Then we're going to go back down here to this. Going to give it an ID. Flight modifier input, yeah. Then we're, should we put this maybe in like a, no, you know what, we're gonna do this. Class, and then we're gonna go again. Uh, slider label, like so, and we're gonna add like a span over here. Uh, this is gonna reflect the flight modifier value. Yeah. Then we're gonna do here. We're gonna go um, slide slider label. It's going to display as a flex and justify content by having space between. Yeah. And the next thing we need to do is actually hook this up. <laughs> Forgot about that. Uh, how, how do I do this again? Wow. How is this set up to a binding again? Well, I actually need to look this up. Spell <laughs> uh, dev, yeah, sure. No, 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 not the tutorial. That's not what I want. Uh... Docs, that's one. And this small thing here. Bind, Jesus. Uh, yeah, so bind, that's the one. Uh, where were we? Where were we? Uh, here. Uh, at the end. Bind, and this is going to be the flight. Mod. Oh, no. Bind value. To flight modifier. There we go. That's the one. That was difficult. It looks right. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it was. It was just set to null, the zero. Yay! We can adjust it accordingly. Great success. Okay, let's rather copy this. Uh, for what we're gonna do.
Yeah. Sure. Uh, let's do this. Uh, do, 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 do. 11? Oops. More along the lines of this. So we're going to change this to... Altitude. Altitude. Then we're going to do it one more time, like so. This is going to be initiative, like so. I'm going to edit this three times. Initiative, right? I'm going to remove these three lines. Excellent. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, the the <laughs> maybe the we should fix the ranges too while we're at it. So the flight modifier is correct. This one, however, is not. This is the altitude thing. This should be oop two to six. And the initiative thing should be one through 35. So now this should be, yeah, this is a lot more in line with what we want, right? And this should be all, yeah. Okay, this is good. I see that it's almost time to uh, to um, end it for for now, but uh, we're gonna fix this name label thing first. So we're gonna go here, do this. Uh, leave that like that. I think no, or not. These labels, slider label, is there any reason that should, shouldn't just be slider label? Yes, that works now. Then we're just going to add like a margin top of like one rem, I think. More than that? Two? Oh, you're seeing differences. I'm not. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's probably enough spacing. <laughs> then we're going to add some style to the footer. Footer. Uh, display, flex, justify content, and I'm going to do uh, disabled, dis disable, disabled. Just bind that to if name is set or not. Uh, yeah, if there isn't a valid name, yeah. Blue dragon. Okay, that that didn't work. Sable. No, that doesn't look right. Hmm. 
Oh, right. It's probably not propagating this correctly. Or or is it? Hmm. Well, it looks to be doing something, right? Uh, n wait a second. Is name actually? Nope. <laughs> I don't think it is. Let's have a look up here. Input. To yeah, right. So we actually need to bind this to make it work. <laughs> Value should. Oh, come on. Should be name. There we go. So now it should work. Blue dragon. Excellent. It's quite big, but it's quite fast. So let's give it a, there we go. Altitude is probably going to appear. Initiative is going to be like this. Add actor. I think that did something. Something crashed. Yeah, the placeholder is not present. That's fine. That is quite all right. Uh, the next thing it needs to do is actually close the modal thing. So how do we do it? Maybe uh, we actually just want to, let's just make that uh, like an event for it to one wanting to close. Uh, create custom event. No. Uh, create event dispatcher. That's the one. Uh, how is it that this works again? Forget every time. Here we go. Creative and dispatcher. So you pass it. Yeah, so you call this, then you get like something to call dispatch on. But I'm gonna bind this, so I'm gonna call null. Then we're gonna pass, uh, just call it close. Then we're just going to call it close. Yeah. Uh, add actor, then close. Like so. Then we head out to layout. We say on, close, set, show, add actor modal to false. Uh, yeah, I think that's right. Blue dragon is in here, yeah. Something, <laughs> some... Thing. Yeah. That didn't work. Uh, I don't think we need any data with the close, so we're just going to pass it like. Uh, I shouldn't have to pass it anything, actually. It doesn't give me any errors. That should be fine, I think. Is close like a reserved keyword or something? No, I think that should be fine. Let's just double check here. Yeah, is he called dispatch? And you do that by calling on whatever that thing returns. So if we look inside our modal. Am I remembering wrong? Creates a new function that when called has its this keyword set to private value with a given sequence of arguments preceding any provided when the new function is called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one I want. 
So if I pass null, this arg, uh, blah, 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 blah. Or if the this arg is null or undefined, the this of the executing scope is treated as the this arg for the um, <clears throat> yeah, so we're not doing a detail thing. Should we maybe just pass like nothing there? Is that better? Let's see. Add actor. Nothing. Okay, so this is a bit weird. I am calling this. This this gets called because I'm, I'm I see the stuff is happening in the background, but close is not being handled. Even though it's uh, it's done wrong here. <laughs> oh come on, John! You can do this better. You can do better than this. This is what it should be. There we go. Now, if we head in, add an actor, green dragon. Let's add this. Woohoo! We're able to add actors. That is excellent. It even works if we refresh because we're storing this because of the storage mechanism that I added earlier. So that's nice, I guess. Actually, if you click this, you should be able to close it. That would be nice. Also, uh, this is a bit weird. <laughs> yeah. Um, this should maybe go on top of everything else. I'm going to leave it like that for now, but we're going to add a button to close it if you don't want to have it open. That that would be nice. So we're just going to do that. Uh, oh, no, that's too much. Uh, if you click this, just do, do like a quick close. So like this, close. Uh, it's never not, it's never going to be disabled like so we can actually set the type to be is it danger no it's not warning it's destroy no what is it error is that the one no, let's see actually we just do this it is error nice remember correctly uh, not add actor, uh, close. Let's just call it that. Strings, where art thou? Not my list. Strings. Close. Ah. Uh, close. And, and the last thing, this shouldn't be end. This should be space between. So we add the, open this, yeah. And it closes it. Wow, that's nice. And I'm actually able to drag the dragon down here, I think. Yay! <laughs> At some point we're gonna get some proper, like, uh, you should be able to add some kind of token image or whatever. I don't know. I'm not really sure how to solve that actually. Eh, that's a problem for another time. Let's see, let's add this. Add support for adding actors. That's that time. Um, adding new actors to the combat. Right. I probably, yeah, I should probably just end it, end it here. Um, before it's too late, I'm headed off to work tomorrow. But we need like a 
both a reset button or yeah, like a reset button or maybe a way to delete tokens. And uh, yeah, but we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Maybe not a reset button. Yeah, well, hmm, would be nice. And then, any, and then a way to actually remove actors from the game, from the from the combat. Yeah, we're making good progress. I think this is uh, we're we're getting somewhere, which is nice. So yeah, um, yeah, we're gonna end that for now. Um, I think I actually made some nice progress. Uh, got some stuff working. I'm really happy with with having drag and drop work which I didn't fix in this specific stream, but the previous one. But this is only two hours later, so I'm still pretty happy about it. Uh, and the 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 ability to move actors to layers that are not currently occupied. Uh, it was kind of <laughs> kind of fun seeing that actually just work out of the box, uh, or, or work that easily, rather, when um, moving some of the logic. So that's good, too. Yeah, so that's going to be it for now. Uh, I hope to see you next time. Snuggies.